We got a request from Bobby today. We're doing Paco de Lucia. Yeah. Never heard of Paco de Lucia before. No, me either. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, Bobby. And Bobby was telling us that he grew up watching MTV at the beginning of his time and had exposure to a lot of different types of music and that his grandfather was actually a Spanish classical guitar teacher, which is kind of cool. Yeah, he's got an eclectic taste of yes. music. He got us to check out thrash metal and he mm -hmm. does play thrash metal himself. Yeah. And he's got us to check out somebody like Buddy Guy, mm -hmm. who we loved in the last video. I believe that was his last request. Yeah. And that was so fired up so fantastic and then now we're here with paco de lucia today which is flamenco guitar which we're not familiar with which no, is cool i don't know if we've heard it before and just did recognize yeah. it but the name was not familiar with flamenco we believe is just a, another type of guitar yeah. that you can play and uh so he was i think an innovator in that and bobby was saying he's one of the best or you know top tier guitar players yeah, in the world in the world so excited i'm excited to check it out yeah me too see that makes two of us so uh thanks so much bobby as yes. we said we really do appreciate it hopefully you guys enjoy this one i have no idea what to expect are you ready i'm ready let's do it let's roll thoughts on uh, Paco de Lucia and Entre dos Aguas. This is so cool. First of all, one thing that really stands out to me is just like how much he's feeling the music. Like you're just watching his body language and his facial expressions. Like it's just like it's flowing through him, which I love to see that. Like the visual is really cool to see how much he's just like enjoying being up there. But at the same time, he's so relaxed. Yeah. He's just like literally got his leg up, you know, chilling. Like you said, enjoying the music, yeah. really getting into it it's and feeling like the It's almost like the flow. passion of soul is like flowing through him into the guitar. Yeah. Um, and 
And I think like the background band is really cool. I'm loving like the hand drum there. I think the that's hands really are cool. working hard on this one. Yeah, it really kind of like <laughs> sets the beat there. I like that. Um, and it really gives me like a like almost like the visual I have is either like, you know, being like in Europe, like out for dinner at like a salsa or like a Latin mm. kind of night, like not a nightclub, but like a dinner club kind of thing. Like yeah. that kind of like salsa kind of flair. It definitely has like a lot of sure. flair to me. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. It's such a unique sound, such a different sound mm-hmm. than what we're accustomed to hearing. Obviously a lot of that is from the guitar, but the drums too. Yes. And, um, it's interesting because it, this guitar, knowing that it's different than what we've heard, obviously, of most of the stuff that we've done, it's melodic, but it can be the solo aspect at mm-hmm. the same time. So it's like you've got a riff and a solo combined into one, one. Yeah. with this unique sound because it's got this dance vibe, this strong groove, provides mm-hmm. a lot of energy to it. But at the same time, it's you know flowing, like we were saying. It stands out and there's different portions to the song that as you were saying, if you're dancing or, you know, you're at a restaurant or something like that, you could hear it pop more in certain sections. So that's like the solo component, right? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, pretty cool. I mean, I've never heard anything like this before, um, other than at a restaurant and you're hearing it in the background, Mm -hmm. but I never knew how it came to be. Yeah. You know, from this type of, uh, guitar. Yeah, for sure. And like, you can definitely, like, it definitely has similar aspects, like underlying kind of sound to like a normal acoustic guitar, but it definitely has like a more like almost like grittier kind of sound to the way that the notes come out, which is cool. Like it definitely gives it its own unique yeah. sound. And I don't know the difficulty in playing this guitar. Obviously yeah. it sounds different. I don't know if it is harder to play, easier to play. If yeah, you know, same. there's a reason why it's not as popular. Um, maybe it's just more popular in certain parts of the yeah, world and like Latin America. Like to create America a certain and, cultural sound. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's certainly not prominent in North America, right? Yeah. So that's why it's refreshing to hear yeah. something different. I really like it. I don't know if I would apply to have his haircut. <laughs> It was an interesting look, that's for sure. Yeah, like the kind of come over. But yeah, I, I mean, think, this is the seventies, so yeah, maybe that's just what was popular. I think, as we've said with some other artists, it's uh, if you can bring the musical talent that he's bringing, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's totally fair. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah, it's got an interesting jacket going on there too, with like the stripes. Yeah, I don't mind the outfit. The outfit looks snazzy to me, yeah. but uh, I would say I'd pass on the on the, the haircut, haircut for now. But maybe if I was in the seventies, we're talking fifty years ago. A lot might of people feel a had bit long different. hair in the seventies. Yeah, I don't right? it's not the long hair. It's just kind of like the side part and, you know, anyways, he's killing it. Let's not focus on the hairstyle. Let's get back to him riding this, this groove like no tomorrow. Thank you. 
feel like he was just warming up before we paused it. As soon as yeah. we got out of the pause, he was like, all right, time to turn up, trying yeah. to show these guys what I'm going to do. definitely brought it up to be like a little bit quicker pace. That was and, fire, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, also, you know, we mentioned a little bit about the difficulty in playing the guitar, this guitar in particular. And I assume it must be more difficult just from the fact that he's finger plucking. He's not using a pick yeah. or anything, right? So yeah. um, I also didn't realize, I don't know if just because the shot that we were looking at initially didn't showcase the other guitar players that were there. On the stage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I was I noticed the the drummers right, yeah. but I didn't see the guitar players. Did you? Yeah, I think they did like a little bit of a pan at okay. one point or another, maybe but I, I don't was, think it was like focused on the entire stage like that. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention enough, but I didn't I didn't really hear it that much. You know, uh, I I assume it was there, especially from the deeper tones, but I didn't really hear it in the mix all that much. I heard mm-hmm. him playing He's predominantly the leading the way. Yeah. So maybe it was just really subtle undertones that they were providing anyway. Yeah. So it was really cool. And, um, it sounded awesome. Yeah. It was sounded great. Like I said, he turned it up. I could see why Bobby was saying that he's so renowned because, you know, he was doing things in the beginning. Like I said, I think it was melodic and cool, a different sound, but I wasn't watching. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention and hard enough. That's completely possible. Cause I was just blown away by the different, sound that we were hearing yeah but in the beginning i didn't feel like i was seeing him go crazy like he was in the back half yeah no he definitely like picked it up like the pace and like the way he was changing the sounds and like i think using a more wide variety of notes and stuff like that yeah he was he was crushing it i was like okay okay yeah okay. <laughs> anyways i enjoyed that yeah i definitely did too and i am somebody like i have a very short attention span normally so for me i feel like if there's not lyrics or something to follow like that i have a hard time focusing normally mm-hmm. but with this i didn't at all like i was really engaged the whole time i would hope not because he was on fire mm-hmm, i loved it <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well hopefully bobby you enjoyed it thank you for supporting us again and getting us to check out something different mm-hmm. every single time we never yes. know what to expect and that held true on this one too yeah for sure and uh, if you did enjoy it hit the like button guys we have two videos every single day so hopefully you hit the subscribe button as well if you're new here if you keep coming back thank you so much for all the support and we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you then